Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So today, um, some exciting news. Uh, DCS 6.0.0 was released, it looks like about a week ago, eight days ago. Um, as you know, if you've been watching my, my channel at all, you realize that I play a lot of DCS Liberation. Um, and so I wanted to take this opportunity to put a, together a small tutorial on how to install it. Um, you know, other things that, that can really help improve that experience. And so I figured that I would uninstall um, some of my stuff on DCS and then we would install this and we'll go through the whole process of setting it up so that you can use it with a dedicated server. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the GitHub website for DCS Liberation. We're going to click on releases over here. Um, and then it's important to just take a note that as they release more stuff, you're going to see the different features and improvements down here in the, uh, essentially the release notes, the fixes, improvements here, uh, the version that you're on, and then any important information. So uh, one thing that's important to note that anytime that there is a significant change in DCS Liberation, it typically ends up breaking compatibility with saves and campaigns uh, with previous versions. So for instance, the Operation Sandstorm campaign that we've been working on, kind of have to probably keep doing it in version five because saves from version five are not compatible with version six. So keep that in mind as you're upgrading and doing different things. Um, but the nice thing about DCS Liberation, it's relatively self-contained. So you install it basically by downloading it and keeping it in the same folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down here down to Assets. And we don't need the source code. It's nice to have it, but we don't need it. And we're just going to download DCS Liberation 6.0.0.zip. So that'll start downloading over here. And then the next thing that we're going to do because we're also going to need to uh, use the DCS, uh, what is it, the standalone server, or I guess dedicated server, we're going to go to the DCS, so digitalcombatsimulator.com, we're going to go over to downloads, click on DCS World here, uh, we are going to go down here to the DCS World 2.8 open beta dedicated server, and this is because I'm using the, uh, I'm using DCS World 2.8 open beta. If you were using, um, I guess, the main branch, uh, quote unquote production, not the beta, uh, you would want to you would want to do the same steps, but with uh, this DCS World 2.7 dedicated server. So we're going to go ahead and click download here. I'm going to click download here. And that's also going to download. Now, let's go ahead and go to our downloads folder. First thing that we're going to do here is we're going to extract DCS Liberation 6. So we're going to right click on it in my case. Um, if you're running Windows, you should be able to, to do like an extract all here. I prefer to use 7-zip. So I'm just going to click on 7-zip. Extract files here. Goes a little bit faster than Windows. But just so that you know it's the same way, you could just go, okay. Um, extract all, extract, and then it'll, it would finish. All right, so now we have DCS Liberation, and we want to put this file, if we open it up, you'll notice that there's a bunch of stuff in here. This is actually all the installation stuff that we need, um, including the binary, uh, to run DCS Liberation. You don't need to run a wizard. Uh, you don't need to run anything in order to um, to run it to install it, I guess. So we're going to just go ahead and copy this in my case. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it right in my desktop where I have the other DCS liberation. Now, all right, so next we're going to go back, back to our downloads and we're going to install open beta server. So just opening it up here. All right, select language. English is great for me. We're going to click next. I am going to be fine with the C program files and that's because uh, my C drive is a two terabyte solid state that I like to use for DCS. And so I have DCS also installed in the same location. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Yeah, we're gonna install it here because I, I just recently deleted it. Um, next, uh, I will keep a desktop icon that is fine. Next, and then install. And then once you've done this, you're gonna to wanna to click finish here to start download. And it will take a moment. You're going to have to click yes to approve things, but it'll take a moment and then it will start 
it'll start downloading. So two things here. The first is if you have, so we're going to click proceed here in just a moment. Um, but if you're installing it in a place that is close to your, or where it can find your existing DCS installation, it will copy those files for you as opposed to downloading them off the internet. I've noticed that a couple of times, especially when I'm updating. So maybe if I update 2.8, it will then say like, hey, copying the files over uh, when I open up my um, open beta server. So we're going to just click proceed and see what happens here. Click yes to allow it. And as you see, it's it's actually copying my files. So I'm not going to have everyone sit and, and watch it do this for the next 10 or so minutes. Um, we'll fast forward in time here in a moment. But uh, but yeah, just a, just a heads up that you can actually just copy it. If you don't have it, um, or can't find that, it will literally just download it from the internet. It might take a little bit longer. So we'll see you in just a moment on the other side of this. All right, so we just finished updating our DCS uh, server here, open beta server, and I click OK. Now, if we go into our desktop, you'll notice that we have an open beta server installation here, and then this web um, graphical user interface. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, shortly on how that, that actually works. But next we need to finish our DCS liberation installation. So we need to make sure that we select the appropriate folder. All right, so now we get into our DCS liberation folder here and we want to find a folder called resources. So we're gonna open up resources and we're gonna also look for a folder called scripts. So we're gonna open up that. And we what we need to do here is we're going to copy this mission scripting Lua we're just going to go ahead and right click on it, click on copy, and then we're going to go to where we installed both uh, DCS and DCS server. So we're going to go to my PC, I have it in my C drive, program files, Eagle Dynamics. We'll open up open beta first, and we're going to go into our scripts folder here. It's going to go ahead and right click and paste it. I'm going to replace the file, click continue. Now, I'm going to head back into Eagle Dynamics again because this is where I installed my open beta server. I'm going to open this guy up here. I'm going to go into scripts, right click, paste, replace the file, continue, done. So what this does is this provides the entry point for DCS uh, liberation in order to uh, basically have the missions collect the appropriate information and save it as a JSON file, as well as other entry points. Um, but it's definitely necessary. And anytime that you update either the open beta server or your DCS installation, you're going to need to um, copy that file back over. It's a little annoying, but it's not too bad. All right, so once we've done that, we can actually go ahead and uh, you know, that really completes our installation. So we can go back to our desktop here. We're going to verify that DCS Liberation works. We're going to go into DCS Liberation. We're going to scroll down, and then somewhere in here, we should have an EXE file. Right click on that. I'm going to run it as an administrator. And there we go. It launched uh, DCS Liberation version 6.0.0. So this is where we're going to end our installation tutorial, and in the next video we'll talk about creating our first uh, simple campaign and go through some of the different uh, uh, settings. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you shortly.